Android Apple devices. And start to power off appeared faster on the iPhone 10. And they're both off now, so I'm just gonna restart them. And let's speak a bit about these devices. So uh, this one has the A11 Bionic chip, hexa-core processor, where this has the A9 uh, chip. Uh, so uh, this has dual-core processor. This one's faster. This one has a hexa-core, as I mentioned. Uh, this one has a 1.85 GHz processor, which is at 2 GHz. And as you can see, guys, these differences are that big. I mean, they're almost going to make me maybe 5 seconds or so fast on the iPhone 10. So the success is really decent when it comes to build up. Alright guys, so first of all, before doing the speed test, I'm going to uh, test the second generation Touch ID and Face ID. Let's see which one is faster. And I'm going to tap on the screen and click there. Mm, I think Touch ID second generation is faster. Because you only you're only required to click once and you're in. However, here sometimes you can miss click on the tap to wake up feature. So swiping, okay, definitely faster on the second generation iPhone success. So uh, yeah, blazing fast. So guys, uh, iPhone 7 and 8 still have the second generation Touch ID, which as you can see is super fast. So now Touch ID, uh, Face ID alone. That's not bad, but Touch ID was definitely faster. Second generation, of course. If you want to guys see how did the Touch ID first generation perform, uh, uh, check the video I'm gonna link down below. Check the first generation Touch ID versus Touch the Face ID. Alright guys, so first of all I'm gonna do processor benchmark here on both. So this phone, has, uh, as you saw, has an uh, A9 chip on the clock at 1.85 GHz uh, with 2 GB of RAM, which just has 3 GB of RAM with an A11 Bionic chip clocked at 2.05 gigahertz or so it actually depends but yeah the score there is very high on the iPhone 10 so uh, almost like I don't know two and a half times the score of the and a multi-core score of the iPhone uh, 6s and when it comes to single core score it's uh, 1,100 more so one and a half times so yeah and yeah, you can see guys both are both are running iOS 11.1.2 the latest yeah as of this video and uh, I'm just gonna close everything in the background and start a speed test. All right guys, so everything's closed in the background, both, and let's go. First up, calendar, about the same there. I don't know, I thought that the 6S was faster weather. 6S was faster, but the loading, the refreshing was about the same there. Next up, maps, and about the same, about the same to be honest, App Store, and yeah, sort of identical, and that's a 6S, not a 7 or an 8. Next up, uh, Claw Combo, mm, about the same, and uh, next up, Home. Yeah, so seven iPhone 10 was a tiny millisecond faster there. Next up, phone about the same, maybe exactly the same as well. And next up, iBooks. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna give this one to the iPhone 6s. Uh, next up, wallet and both, and 6s was faster. But uh, iPhone 10 loads uh, two cards there, so uh, I don't know why. iTunes Store. 
uh, 10 was faster with loading the content. Stocks, exactly the same. Wow. Except reminders. Maybe 6s was faster. Not sure. Next up, launching the camera and taking a picture. Maybe iPhone 10 was faster. <laughs> Some phone to take a picture after closing the app. That's interesting. Next up, videos. So uh, I think they're identical. <laughs> That's uh, weird. All right. So uh, next up, Safari. Yeah, maybe identical. Okay, iPhone 10 is loaded faster. And next up, I'm gonna load a iPhone. Yeah, 10 was faster. Um, next up, notes. iPhone 6s was faster loading. Alright, uh, so uh, opening the control center, both. Okay, both were smooth. So this is the first time opening the control center after turning off both devices. So for usually on older devices it gets glitchy. Alright. Let's unlock some games. First up, Fruit Ninja. Okay, yeah. Uh, iPhone 10 was the middle is uh, a bit faster there. Space Frontier Bow. Yeah, as you can see, this game is somewhat optimized for the iPhone uh, 10. I mean, just, there are some black bars at the, at the top. Temporon 2. And this one is optimized as well, so... Good to see. And, yeah, faster on the iPhone 10, but really isn't that different, that much faster. Not that much of a difference. So, uh, sort of identical. Of course, you have a bigger screen here, more pixels to push, but still, both phones are super fast. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna do one of the match marks this on both. And this score here, guys, is for my iPhone 6, not for my iPhone 10. So for some reason, it shows here. And I'm gonna do the test. All right, and I'm gonna just uh, speed up the video. Alright guys, so uh, here we have the scores. There is some difference actually. So this is the first one I see exceeding a 200,000 mark. With a score of 207,000, where this has 117,000. So there is some 80-90,000 uh, score difference. And if you go into details, so uh, in 3D, 3D is the, is the point where the iPhone 10 outshines the iPhone 6S. And with a, when it comes to CPU, they're about the same, to be honest. And you guys saw the CPU speed difference. I mean, they're almost the same neck and neck when it comes to launching apps. So yeah, CPU is not that much faster. RAM is like sort of double, but yeah, actually it's fair because uh, it has one extra gigabyte of RAM. And with a UX, uh, clearly faster on the iPhone 10, but the 3D 3D is the point where the iPhone 10 obliterates the iPhone 6s. So guys, one more thing to test before I forget: uh, three touch speed on both. So uh, this won't be that easy to do. I see. So. Uh, 
it's about the same maybe this uh, iPhone 10 is responding a bit faster slightly but there's no lag whatsoever on the nah, about the same and there's no lag whatsoever on the iPhone 6s so in previous versions of iOS 11 there was some lag now it's pretty perfect there yeah about the same